right now um, near a state forest that was once owned by the Church of England in a propagation of gospel in foreign parts that would set up in sacred areas to convert the native population over to the Church of England. This whole area is filled with possible ceremonial stonework created by the Abenaki. I just walked up this old logging road that was, my guess, developed to work on the power line right over there because as you can see, it's very doubtful this was ever farmland. There is some barbed wire further up the slope, but none down this way. But what's interesting and caught my eye, it's this large boulder right here with the stonework connected to it. Connected to this large boulder is stonework that kind of wings out to this direction right here. As well, you have a split boulder right there, which is very common in ceremonial stone landscapes. But down this way, there's another one, very similar, but on this side of the wall instead of that side. So it's never seen anything quite like this. Two spots where it's connected to boulders and the boulders kind of wing out. I'll show you that right down there, as well as some of the amazing trees grown up onto this stonework. Now, there's a gap right here, and this gap kind of leads down to a spring head right down there. Then you can see the creek bed down there, and that flows down into a wetland down below. As you can see, the wall is fairly tall, solidly built, most likely because it's on bedrock, like this whole area is mostly bedrock. And one theory that I kind of have about all this stonework is the age of it. It all seems to recognize ice age waters, meaning that wherever there was glacial waters, you won't find any stone walls. But at those shorelines and above, that's where you find all the stonework. And a lot of people question that because they, they would say things like, if that is the case, we wouldn't see it today because it would be buried from the amount of ground debris growing up and covering the walls. But if that was the case, all these great glacial erratics right here would also be buried, but they're not. Wherever you find glacial erratics like this, you do find stone walls like this. And here's that old road right here going up through this landscape. And here's one of those giant trees. This one has since, nope, it's still alive on one section of it right there. That part does appear to be alive, but the rest of it has died. But as you can see, it is a giant dead tree. And there's one down here that's even crazier. And there's that creek down there, the creek bed. And you have boulders within the stone row itself. Yeah, I have a feeling probably on this side, it's a bit taller. Yep, it is a bit taller on this side. As you can see, this is the uphill side, downhill side. And there is a lot of debris built up on this side, but downhill side, there's a significant difference between height. And here are some of those large old trees within the stonework itself. And this tree right here, it's amazing. I've never quite seen a tree like this ever before. And look at the size of that thing. That is probably from there to there, I'm going to estimate five and a half, six feet base. But then it just comes out to this large growth right here and goes straight up. It looks like one of those, um, we call them pointing trees that points you in a direction, a trail marker tree, but a very old, old one at that. And actually that points right up to this wall where we started up there at the bedrock where the wall continues up over the mountain. And 
You can see some bedrock right here or boulders. Down here. Other location, if I can get through this mess. And down here you can see the landscape. Like how many boulders are in this landscape? All this glacial erratics among the landscape with the stone row. Now down this way, you get more, oh, right there. That right there is a cool little construction style right there. You see a center boulder, but the stonework kind of encircles it right there. Very common with potential Native American stonework. And here's that other boulder construction that is similar to the one up there on this side of the wall, but down here it's on the left-hand side, the, going downhill. You have the stonework comes up to the boulder and it wings out to this direction. As you can see right there, and it's a split. This is a unique feature that I have not really come across, and there's two examples of it within this short amount of span right here. And you get into some maple lines down here because, again, not good farmland, but there are plenty of maple trees up here. But yeah, just wanted to share this two unique features on this stone row that goes up mountainside.